Hey folks and welcome to The Point. This week, Yogg's Cast have cancelled their half a million dollar Kickstarter and left a bunch of people out of pocket. And that obviously raises a bunch of questions, but my main concern is, where did all that money go? The Yogg's Cast. You've heard of them, right? They're a bunch of internet streamers founded out of Reading in the United Kingdom, who gained popularity on YouTube initially through their World of Warcraft coverage, but gained mass notoriety through some fantastically entertaining videos around Minecraft. This humble bunch of YouTubers has since grown up to be a rather profitable media organization, boasting all manners of impressive numbers and statistics. The first UK YouTube channel to reach 1 billion total views, for instance. Over 7 million subscribers on their main channel is another one. I say main channel because they now operate a network of channels which live stream and post video on the internet around the clock. Some of which is done out of a passion for games, others paid for by publishers, but that's a debate for another day. The Oxcast are popular, and rightfully so, they produce some entertaining videos. I don't know if there's 70 million subscribers entertaining, but then what the hell would I know? My YouTube channel only has about 2,000 subscribers, and most of those came from a not safe for work video of me playing that PlayStation 3 Harry Potter game. Yogg's cast are popular, so it was no surprise when back in April 2012, a Kickstarter for a Yogg's cast video game, seemingly backed by the team, smashed through its goal of 250,000 and raised over half a million dollars. The game, entitled Yogg Ventures, was an open world sandbox game that would feature members of the Yogg's cast as characters in the game. The Kickstarter looked professional, well thought out, it even had gameplay, so it seemed like a pretty safe bet in the Russian roulette of Kickstarter. But more than anything, it had Yogg's cast's full backing, their brand their voice. Why are Yogg's cast making a game, it asked. Well, it turns out they weren't, really. The actual work was being done by Winter Cool Games, a team who, in Yogg's cast words, are a team of talented indie developers and long-time veterans of film and game companies working at the highest levels of production. Well, as you can probably imagine from the fact that I'm even talking about this, that clearly wasn't the case. Over 13,000 of Yogcast fans backed the project, and yesterday, over 13,000 people around the world found out it was canned and that they wouldn't be getting any refunds. So it turns out Winter Cool Games was actually a team that at its largest was merely six contributors, being managed by a single guy. A guy who, according to a post made on Yogcast forums last week, had a lack of experience in planning and managing a project of this scope and was so burdened and stressed out by the project that he lost his wife, and I quote, I almost lost my job too. He almost lost his job? Why did he have a job? Wasn't his job to make this video game with this team of veterans of film and game companies that had half a million dollars in funding? Surely there are some questions to be answered. Well, yesterday, Lewis Brindley of Yogg's Cast emailed backers of the Kickstarter with a frankly bemusing response that indicated that Yogg's Cast aren't interested in setting things right and are in fact attempting to put as much distance between themselves and the project as possible. While this was Winter Cool's project, we put a lot of time, energy and effort into trying to help them realize their dream, it reads. Winter Cool's project, a project that just so happened to have Yogg's cast branding, messaging, and actual words and voices on the Kickstarter page. Not to mention a link to yogscast.com as the Kickstarter's homepage and details about Yogg's cast limited in the project creator's biography. But the alarm bells really go off further down the email. Although we're under no obligation to do anything, huh. Yogscast actually believe that they're under no obligation to do anything. They think that giving away a bunch of beta keys for a different game and promising exclusive content from a whole bunch of potential partners is some sort of charity plucked from the bounty of kindness in their hearts. Besides the fact that they are actually legally responsible as of Kickstarter's terms of use, or at least somebody is. And that's when this all starts to make a kind of sick type of sense. Yogscast are trying to distance themselves both in terms of public perception and legal culpability, and in doing so are laying all of the blame on Winter Cool Games. A studio led by a guy who not only clearly didn't have the resources to create this game, was also divorced in the process, almost lost his day job, and seemingly had a breakdown due to all the stress. Yogscast are more than willing to use the good faith they have accrued with their community to throw their business partner under the bus and take zero responsibility themselves. First of all, morally, it is Yogscast prerogative to ensure that they protect their fans, the very people who stop them from having day jobs they might lose. So how this project burned half a million dollars in two years, and only now, when it was way beyond too late, the alarm bells went off is frankly ridiculous. 
but perhaps more importantly, what happened to the half a million dollars? Surely this tiny team didn't actually spend it all. So did Yogscast take a cut immediately for using their name? Did they knowingly dupe their community into thinking that they would be involved in this project when all they were doing was licensing their IP to a third party? Have they run away with the majority of the funding and are hoping that in this daily news world we find ourselves in, people will just forget about it? I might work for a big corporation, but my ability to do what I do comes from having an audience. So it really infuriates me when I see people seemingly taking advantage of that. Yogscast seem more than happy in this situation to throw up their hands and shout caveat emptor, but they're still a business. A business whose dealings have left 13,647 people out of pocket. Now that might not seem like a lot of people when you've got millions of subscribers and billions of views, but that's still 13,647 people who deserve better answers.